Hey guys, it's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides, and as you can see, I'm in my garage. I have my brand new Ford Focus RS right behind me, and one thing that I want to talk about with you guys is protection on the inside of the car. Now, I know a lot of you may sit, say to yourself, you know, you buy a new car, it comes with floor mats, why would you want something else? It aren't all floor mats just floor mats? Well, guess what? I'm here to tell you that not all floor mats are created equal. And I'm the type of person that I like to protect the outside of the car, but I also like to protect the inside of the car. And living in Florida, we get a lot of rain. And whenever you're out and about in the rain and you get into the car, one thing that's going to get destroyed are those factory floor mats because 99% of the time they're just made out of carpet material, just like the rest of the carpet inside. And with you bringing in your wet shoes and whatnot, it's going to eventually tear up and just ruin those floor mats and then eventually ruin the carpet in your car. So if you plan on holding on to your car for a little bit amount of time or especially a longer amount of time, let me show you my preferred type of floor mat. This is, as you can see, I just got my shipment in today, my shipment of WeatherTech floor mats. Now, there are lots of different brands out there when it comes to the plastic protective floor liners. WeatherTech is really the company that put floor liners on the map, and they're known as like the industry standard as being like the Cadillac, the best of those floor liners. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and show you just how easy they are to put into the car. But before I do that, I want to show you just what separates WeatherTech from any of the other brands. So they come in these beautiful package boxes. Inside, you're going to find one of the floor liners. Now this is the floor liner for the driver's side. What I really like about WeatherTech is first of all, this nice, thick, Thur uh, durable material. Some of the lesser brands, it's very flimsy. Another thing that you'll notice is, is that they don't use any kind of Velcro. They don't use any kind of those little uh, prickly things that are going to dig into the carpet. They use lasers to mold this exactly to the floor pan where your feet are and whatnot. And then what they do is if you look at the back here, you'll see that they actually have these clips that when you go to install this, it's going to clip right in, it's going to lock in, and it's not going to slide around. That's something to you know really think about. If you're going to use a, a rubber floor mat or something like that, those could slide around and they could actually get trapped underneath the gas pedal. They could get trapped underneath that clutch pedal or brake pedal and could interfere with you operating the car that could lead to a crash. So my advice is that if you want the ultimate protection is to go with these wonderful weather techs and I'm going to show you just how easy they are to put in. So let's go ahead and uh, go inside my Ford Focus RS. Now the first thing that you want to do before you put this in is you have to remove the stock floor mat. Now some people don't and what will happen is this will not be allowed to clip in. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to simply just reach inside the car and I'm going to pop out the floor mat. Now this is what I was talking about. This is just your standard Ford floor, uh, floor mat for the Focus. It's just carpet. So this thing is gonna get wet. It could lead to mildew and all sorts of things. What's another thing that's great about these floor liners is that they're very easy to clean. So if you bring sand into the car, if you bring water, you could vacuum all that up and you could actually clean these to keep them looking in really perfect condition. And like I said, they're very, very good quality, nice and thick. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your WeatherTech floor liner, you're gonna make sure that you slide it front end first underneath your pedals. And obviously since this is a manual transmission car, we have our three pedals. And then all we're gonna do is, is you're just gonna make sure that you hear that click sound. Once you hear that click sound, you know that this thing is secure. Another thing I want to point out is I really like the way that these go high up behind the pedals. Some of the other brands, they're a little bit lower. So when you have your foot pressing on the pedal, especially like the, the clutch pedal or the brake pedal, some of that sand from your shoe can actually get past the floor liner and onto the car carpet. These actually go up behind those pedals. 
even covers most of the dead pedal, which is nice. And what you also will notice when you get these and install them on your car is that they also protect the sides. That's the most important part because that's where you're throwing your feet when you get in and out of the car. It's going to protect the sides of the carpet and whatnot to keep it looking fresh and new. And like I said, best bang for the buck, yes, you're going to pay a little bit more for them, but they're way better quality. And I promise you that they will provide years of service with no problem. So let's go ahead and go to the back of the car and see what does WeatherTech have for us there. All right guys, so we're at the back end of my Ford Focus RS. Before we go ahead and install that rear cargo liner, I just wanna point out to you guys that WeatherTech is not paying me to advertise for them. I just am recommending their product to my viewers because that's something that I know we, we spend a lot of money on our cars. I like to protect the outside and the inside, and I just want to give you my opinion of what I think is the best way to go, because trust me, over my decades of experience, I've used a lot of different mats. Some are great and some suck. But what I have found the greatest success with, personally, are the weather tanks. So let's go ahead and see what we have back here in the back of the Ford Focus RS. So since this is obviously a five-door hatch, you could see that all we have is carpet. Another problem. If you're bringing in things in and out of the car, this carpet is gonna wear. If it's raining, water's gonna get on the carpet. So WeatherTech has a perfect solution that's gonna take care of this whole rear end of the car. All right guys, so we're gonna now put in this WeatherTech cargo liner. And like I said, what I really like about it is I really like how thick these liners are. They're very uh, durable and it's such an easy process to put in, even easier than those front mounts. So here we go. Just put the front in. It tucks in and there you go. One, two, three. Now the rear end of the car is protected. You could put things in, take things out. You don't have to worry about the carpet getting worn or when it's pouring out or for some of you up north when it's snowing, any type of snow or water getting in the back. Now, my wife also has liners in her car we decided to go with the Husky brand. So it was really nice to see the difference between Husky and WeatherTech. If you are wanting to save a little bit of money, because remember, WeatherTech is the Cadillac of the floor liners, but they are on the higher side when it comes to price range. So if you wanted something maybe in the middle, you didn't want to go with the cheap rubber mats from Walmart, and you didn't want to go with the WeatherTechs, there's a brand that we have used, Husky. Um, the Husky product is a great product, just like the WeatherTech. The only thing that I personally didn't like about them is I didn't like the way they didn't use the factory clips to lock in. They use a different method to hold the mat to the carpet. Another thing that I noticed is that on the sides of the liners, they didn't go up as high as the WeatherTechs do. So there is some carpet that is exposed that might get a little bit of damage from wear or rain or whatnot. But if you're not too concerned about that and you're more concerned about saving maybe a little bit of money but also protecting your ride, then you could go with the Husky brand. And if you do a little bit of research, there's even some other brands that are a little lower price point wise than the Husky, but still offer you some type of protection because you really, you know, we, we spend so much money on these cars. We put so much time and effort into them. You really should you know, protect your ride and take care of it because I promise you, your ride's gonna take care of you. So, I wanna appreciate you guys uh, and say thank you for, for viewing. If you have not hit that subscribe button, go ahead and click that down there. Um, you know, if you want your ride on Radies Rides, leave me a comment in the comment box. Go ahead to my website, radiesrides.com. I've had a lot of people giving me their information. I've already made some appointments and I'd be more than happy to have your car here on Radies Rides. And just like always, I'll see you guys on the next ride.